and welcome back. Well, April is oral cancer awareness month and there's a simple way that you can get screened every year. All you got to do ask your dentist. I'm here with Dr. Montegudo from Wisconsin Smiles to learn more. Good to see you again. Yeah, great to be here again. Yeah, you know, I, this topic, I think um, it's never fun to talk about cancer, no. but it's important that we understand what risks, symptoms, and um, factors go into it. So yes, definitely. How common is oral cancer? I mean, you think about a dentist, you don't think about you, you know, diagnosing cancer, but this is something that you have to look at for your patients. Yeah, uh, the statistics are about more than about 50,000 people a year are diagnosed with oral cancer. Um, of those 50,000, um, a great majority of those are, f uh, when they're found, they're in a more advanced stage. And the reason for that is that um, people aren't being screened ahead of time. Yeah. And so uh, the American Dental Association and the American Medical Association uh, have teamed up the last few years to create Oral Cancer well Awareness Month, sorry, uh, in April. And they've done a really good job in getting the word out. Mm -hmm. So what they ask of us as dentists and uh, also the medical professionals to do screenings during the month of April. Okay. So is this something that you naturally would screen for or look for, or do we have to request this of our dentist? Well, uh, when, when I went to dental school, it was part of our, our training to always mm -hmm. screen patients for oral cancer. So uh, I would say basically all dentists do that. Yeah. And, and that's what I do in my practice that we, we during the, the, the exam, not only the initial exam, but also any periodic exam when they come back for cleanings, we're always looking for something different, we're yeah. something that doesn't look the same. So uh, we're also asking questions about the, to the patients. You know, do you have any mouth sores or anything like that? It doesn't seem to go away, mm -hmm. any lumps or bumps. And so, um, yeah. Well, and here on the screen, we have mm -hmm. risk factors. So I wanna go through them sure. specifically because one of them is people who smoke or chew tobacco. Yeah, no, definitely. People that smoke are very likely to get oral cancer. Um, the other, the other case, uh, people that chew tobacco, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, chewing tobacco is 10 to 15 times, uh, more dangerous than smoking itself. Uh, there are a lot of chemicals in chewing tobacco, uh, and snuff, which is the yep. other, the, the other name of it. And, uh, some of the cases that we've seen, uh, in our office in the last 30 years, most of them have come from chewing tobacco. So we saw in there alcohol, yes, heavy drinkers. Definitely. You think about your gut or your kidneys or uh -huh. your liver, but this is truly a risk cancer for oral cancer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, men, twice as likely to develop oral cancer than mm -hmm. women and sexually active individuals and age. Why men? Why does why does that affect them? Sexually active, age, I assume as we age and yeah. get older. Yeah, especially with men over the last few years, what's happened is more men drink have more heavily than, than women mm -hmm. and usually smoke more. Over the last few years, those numbers have changed a little bit. We're seeing more women smoking and or drinking heavily. Um, we've talked uh, about the human papilloma virus, for yeah. example, and, and for example, cervical cancer, et cetera, et cetera. Um, there's about a, a hundred different variations of that virus, but just only a few of them cause cervical and or oral cancer. Gotcha. Um, so anybody who's sexually active, okay, can also develop uh, oral pharyngeal cancer. Gotcha. So yeah. those are our risk factors. As we kind of look through mm -hmm. symptoms, you said mouth sores. I think that's yeah. something that people can pay attention to. What el what other things might you see or feel in your own mouth or throat? Yeah. Well, let's start with mouth sores. You know, it, it's com it's common for all of us to get a sore from you know from time to canker time. Canker sore. A canker sore in that. So you know, just don't go running your dentist immediately yeah. if you have one. <laughs> I okay? ate too much <laughs> oranges. Too many oranges. Yeah, right? Or a pizza burn or something yeah. like that. But if you have a mouth sore that does not seem to go away, mm -hmm. okay, and it seems to get bigger and bigger and it's painful and it's uncomfortable, uh, definitely seek, uh, seek advice from, from a dental or a medical professional. Yes. Um, lumps, for example, if you feel a lump in your cheek, in your tongue, uh, also pain uh, in, 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 on your tongue or, or a sore underneath your tongue. Mm -hmm. Now, oral cancer is not only inside your mouth, but sometimes we'll get it on the outside of our lips. Okay. So we also need to look for that also. So anything, anything that, that doesn't look normal or feel normal, Pay is, attention to you it. have to pay attention to it. Yeah. All right. So you say all those things, white or red patches on your mm -hmm. gums, tongue, yeah. tonsils, difficulty swallowing or chewing, moving your jaw or tongue, numbness, mm -hmm. jaw swelling, loosening of your teeth. Yeah. How do you screen? So we, we say we've got these symptoms yeah. or say we just want to get checked out mm -hmm. because you're doing screenings this month, which I'll give you the rest of the information sure. for in a minute. Yeah. But what do you screen? Because you brought some tools to show us how it works. Yeah, so what happens basically when the patient comes to the office, we do a visual screening. Yep. Okay, if we see something that may be of concern, we're gonna use what's called a Velscope. Now okay. there are different type of instruments on the market. Mm -hmm. We have seen that Velscope is probably the best of them all. What it does, it, it emits a very high intensity, uh, high intense light. Mm -hmm. And so normal cells will absorb the light in a certain way. Abnormal cells will not really absorb the light. So what oh. we'll see 
is that when we shine this on the gum tissue, okay, uh, it looks darker. Yeah. Okay, so those are areas of concern. It doesn't mean that it's cancer. Okay. Just means you may have to check yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, may have to you check it. You can also do a swab test. So I'm gonna hold this up. This is how mm -hmm. simple this is. It's just this little thing in here. Yeah, and so what happens basically is that, let's say if we, we're using the Velscope, we see an area of concern. We see a white patch or something like that. We take this little brush and we just simply brush that little area, okay? And then we put it uh, on a slide that's around here somewhere mm -hmm. and we send it off to, uh, to the laboratory. Yeah. And then what they'll do is that it'll actually send us the results okay, okay. If, it's, if, if it's an abnormal cell or precancerous then we will most probably send you off to a uh, to an oral surgeon for a for a incisional biopsy just to make sure these are just these are not, these are not diagnostic what these are basic, basic it's just big just just to screen and yeah. see uh, the good news is that when we see issues uh, that do occur you know 98 percent of them are really nothing but that one that one or two percent those are the ones that we're concerned about. Well, and right now you're doing free oral cancer screenings with Dr. Montegudo at Wisconsin Smiles the remainder of April. Here's what you need to do. Call for an appointment. 414-982-3676. If there's someone you love as well that smokes, chews, has any of these symptoms, get them an appointment. WisconsinSmiles.com. Again, to see Dr. Robert Montegudo. Thanks so much. Right. Pleasure. Appreciate it. We'll be